Okay guys, I'm back with some more uh, C++ editing. We're going to be working with my VIP engine again. We're going to do, a, I'm going to do just a uh, uh, quick walkthrough on installing it. Let me make sure, there we go. Let's turn this down a bit. It's echoing in my ear. My mic is. <laughs> so, anywho, what I'm going to do is walk people through on how to install my VIP engine, Crumbo's VIP engine. This is for World of Warcraft, Wrath of the Lynch King. This is for the core. It's a C script. What it is, it's just the engine. It does have a lot of extras uh, that you can pick and choose to add. Basically, you just install the engine and then you can implement the features of the engine, engine throughout your source files, all your source scripts and files and everything. So, basically, you go to either Trinity Core's website or AC Web's website, and you'll find my VIP system. Mm, la 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 la. A lot of features you can add into this. This has a modifiable max uh, VIP rank, so you can do VIP one through four, one to five, one to six, one to two hundred and fifty-five. You can have as many VIP ranks as you want, as long as it stays within uh, the UINT32 range, which is quite a big number. So, what we do is we'll come down here, scroll down through the thread, and you'll see right here, Grumble's VIP system. This will take you to my repo, my GitHub repo, master branch. But we want, we're going to be working with Trinity Database 335.64. So we're going to switch branches. There we go. And here's the latest and greatest. So we have, you'll see Aluna. These are the edits if, you, if your core supports Aluna. Then this is where you'll and you want to use Luna to access this VIP system. I want I did go ahead and make uh, everything that you need to add to your Luna uh, engine to to give uh, allow you to access the methods and call on the uh, methods of the VIP engine through Luna. And right now we're just going to do the basics of installing the engine and getting it working. Extras, you see here, this is all the different uh, extra mods like armor mod. Come through here, blah blah blah, you'll open up statsystem.cpp, make sure you include the blah blah blahs. And you come down here and this shows you all the edits. Simple, just a few lines and bada bing bada boom. Player's uh, armor is now modified based on their VIP rank. So a VIP of 1 will get a point. Here, 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 here. Let me pull up the config. I'll show you. Go down here. This is where the offset comes in of a 0.055% offset that is multiplied by the player's VIP rank, and that's what gives them the uh, modification. So the VIP offsets used to player's VIP, so it's PIV times player's VIP times the VIP offset. And then we come down here and we do the actual math. Do, 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 do. Boom. Da, da, da. 
So, anywho, and that's how you would implement it. And I'll do that in a different thing. So, I'm going to close that out for now. Close this. Okay, so, let's go back down here. We're going to click on my VIP system. Yeah, alright going to go to the branch we need which is dots which is 64 and we're going to go to engine okay so we're going to go VIP first and we have two files here so what we need to do is go to your source folder, your building, fo your source folder. This is where all where your source files are. Go source, server, game, entities, and then in entities, you just create a folder called VIPs. I used to just play it, put all this stuff right inside player, but let's keep it simple and clean. Uh, just make a folder off to the side right here and name it VIP copy or clone whichever you can clone the repo branch you can clone the branch where is it never mind but anywho you can clone this branch or you can just open it up copy and paste it and uh, place them right here and then we'll come back to source server scripts custom go to your custom script loader and you'll come down and you're going to edit just like I posted up here down at the bottom we're going to edit our folders edit this file and add these two lines void add script Rumble CIP core, blah blah blah. Come down here and do the same thing again without the void. So you'll add this line right here. This one line I have highlighted. You copy and paste that, which you'll find that command. That's a uh, little wrapper thingy right here. This whole line is what you're copying. And you're going to add it right there. And then you're going to do it again right here inside add custom scripts and you're going to do it again but you're going to not use void in there just normal like that and then you're going to save of course save all your files then you're going to come over you got to re-cmake always re-cmake make sure you're c-making what you want to c-make of course configuration done and you're going to generate a new solution new uh, solution okay generating is done okay next you're going to come out you're going to go into your build folder folder open it up find your solution file which is an MS Visual Studio solution file don't care oh never mind okay so okay so we've opened it up let's do this again da, da, da. do this one more time right here we go build Trinity Core 
OK. Once it's ready, you're going to want to select Release x64 or 32-bit depending on which one you want and compile and normally once you do it it's gonna sit and the first time first run is gonna take a while to uh, compile the whole thing. For me it takes roughly about three minutes maybe at the most. I never really timed a full compile. Okay, so boom, bada bing, bada boom. That part is done. So we can close this out. Now we come back to here we're going to go back one step back to the engine folder. Oops. Next step, we need to do the SQL updates. We need to do the required DB updates. We have four of those. Auth database. We're going to add these columns. So you're going to use your Heidi SQL or whatever SQL server editor you use. Um, there's a couple different ones out there. I can't remember what they're called. And just go raw. Copy those lines. Make sure you're on your auth server. Click paste and you're going to uh, run it. Boom. Now, normally, <coughs> it'll pop up and run clean, but as you can see, it said duplicate column name, blah, 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 blah. Come on, open. Yep, via PMG and votes. And that's what I'll add. It's a tiny int, my bad. 255. That's right. The VIP max rank is a tiny int, a UINT8. Max value is 255. Which is still a lot of damn VIP ranks if you really want to go that far. Well, then you're talking about an exponential curve. Okay, so I'm going to go here, we'll go back. We'll go back, and then we do item, which is will be for world dot items template, and this is going to add the VIP column entry for items. What this is used for is to give a minimum VIP required rank to equip this item. Um, that feature is dormant because we haven't added it. So understand this is just a, an added column until we actually implement it in Accord. This is just dormant. It's not going to do anything. It's not going to affect gameplay until we actually use it to affect gameplay. Otherwise, it's just sitting here dormant. So what, what we use this for once we implement it is we're going to use this value for... Uh, VIP item so players say a player has a rank of three but then you can have these really badass stuff that you want <coughs> just for your top VIP people say VIP rank uh, six say six is your max and then you have different VIP rank items well you can tell the system well this player you know, let's go to world Go to world, item template. Ah. Data. Okay. So we'll say the worn sh short sword. We can change that to
to 6, it's a VIP value. To 6, and then once I implement it in the core, I can say OK. Once I have it implemented so that players' items require a specific VIP rank or higher to equip it in the core, then I can set these. So right now, with it implemented, if I had it implemented, then anybody with VIP rank 6 or higher can equip the worn short sword. <laughs> But yeah, if you had really super beefcake weapons that you only wanted people of rank 4 or higher, say this was for people with rank of VIP 4 or higher, you just set it to 4 and then the system, once we've implemented it, that feature, then we can tell it, okay, anybody with rank 4 or higher can equip this item. And that's what that right here is for. But again, <clears throat> all we're doing is installing the core engine. We haven't added any of the external features, all the pick and choose features. We haven't added any of those. So right now it doesn't, it's not going to do anything. It's just there waiting to be put into service. So we're going to go back. Next will be the DB, uh, world database entries. Now this is where we add the Hearthstone table, or uh, yeah, we add the entry Hearthstone to World GH right here. What this is, this is part of the engine right here where you get a get a, a extra teleports that you can use. You can make your own custom ones and store them and then just use the command to teleport. Blah, 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 blah. Okay. Let me go back again. Creature DB. Okay. This is going to add two columns to creatures. Again, they're going to be dormant. VIP and MG to your creature template. I'm going to come up here to creature template. There we go. Right now we're working with the flesh eater. Flesh eater and MG of zero. Okay. So. What these two do, once implemented, again, they're just dormant, they're not being used at the time, they're just extra columns that are just sitting here dormant, waiting to be called into service. What we use these for is on kill credit, or actually these will be implemented, my bad, in the uh, engine on creature kill. which I may separate that from the engine also make it its own little script but anywho I can say this creature has a rank a VIP rank of 2 and it's worth 20 MG so what this is is what extra perks you get when you kill this creature Upon killing, this creature's worth a base of 20 MG. The creature's VIP rank can multiply that. So if he's ranked VIP 2, if the creature's VIP is 2, then it multiplies MG by, by 2. So now he's 20 times 2, which is 40. Then you multiply that by the player's VIP rank if they're 3. 40 times 3 is 120 MG, so this creature, when the player kills some uh, player with VIP rank 3, kills this creature, they're going to receive 120 MG credit. 
if they're rank zero or rank if the rank zero with the no VIP rank zero enabled system where you can have players sit at rank zero that don't have anything as far as access to the VIP system they're just not VIP because they're rank zero they won't receive anything because once you multiply it times zero then they get nothing rank one will get this we'll get 120 times one rank two get 120 times two which is 240 or wait a minute <laughs> my bad rank two times 20 is 40 so rank one to get 40 mg rank vf players with vip2 will get 80 mg people with uh vip3 will get 120 blah 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 so on and so forth so these two will get called into service as soon as you install the engine it's just a little extra side perk that i uh put into the engine i gotta i want to separate it though make it its own standalone script that you can just add in later there's only a, a couple scripts that are actually uh, added into the engine the basics this one the kill credits the ki extra perks for killing any creatures and the uh, the uh, uh, vendor the banker that's another one that's hard that's hard coded into the engine also because you got to be able to deposit and withdraw your mg that way the mg now let me get back to this mg real quick magic gold this whole vip system i wrote off the top of my head to uh to resemble the old amd slash bloody wow amd wow slash bloody wow vip system from back from 2009 2010 era before cataclysm came out back when it was just wrath of the lynch king and amd and bloody wow and all them were really big servers so mg can be stored in your banker and i'll show that in a little bit you have a uh, banker that you can go and deposit your mgs into and it allows you to access those it's into a bank account that allows any character on your account your one specific account to access that banker and access that uh, global bank account that bank account is basically accessible by all the characters on your one account so it's a global currency okay so we're gonna go back here and we did all that so we are good we got our creatures at uh, sql updates got all our four updates so we come back here come to sql updates Okay, this is the miscellaneous items and vendors. This, this is required also. This will add the magic gold. It doesn't really add it. It's already there, but it's called something else, 44209. I'm just using something else already existing. We'll scroll down real quick, show all. I can't remember what it's originally called. 
but there's already an item that exists with item ID 44209 and it's a uh, special currency but it's not used by the uh, core at all in fact it was abandoned but it's still there and it shows up on your player uh, current custom currency tab so I just uh, grabbed it and just changed the name and uh, let it go from there you can also change the uh, display ID for it and you'll have to update your patch for it also so it'll display on the players and the proper display ID okay next one is the VIP coin which shows all your VIP stats and then VIP stone that's the item that actually increases the players VIP by one level with plus one so people can donate receive the stone click on it and boom they get bumped up a rank or you can add it to one of your super bosses as a rare drop so players can uh, have a chance to uh, kill the boss and actually gain a VIP rank like if he's like the ultimate boss of your server like the final boss or something like you modified the Lich King to be uber badass or whatever and you can add that to his drop drop table with a real rare drop percentage like point zero zero one or something like that so once in a rare blue moon it will drop and they'll get a chance to get it and then the third one you add to your creature template will be of course the world trades banker and that's the banker that that allows you to deposit and withdraw from your global account account <laughs> from your global bank account from your accounts global bank account from your character's account global yeah <laughs> from your accounts global bank account okay so we've added all that of course it's been already added okay last thing we need to do of course is to comp file now that we're going to come over here to your world server folder now you got two world servers here one is just the default backup and then you actually have the one that's called on you want the conf file not the dist file the conf file we're going to open that up we're going to click raw of course Gonna come over here we're just gonna copy all this and then we're gonna come over to your conf file come all the way down to the bottom and you're just gonna click hit enter and then paste and what you'll see is all this right here will be posted at the bottom disregard that part this is another part of my and then this is where you go through and you say okay I want my starting VIP rank 0 enabled or disabled I've been working with that and this is where you'll set your max VIP right now I got it set for 6 so VIP 1 through 6 with a rank 0 enabled my VIP offset this is where I'll set that it's uh, a percentage so 0 0.05 equals 5% 0 0.10% 0 0.15 equals and you'll get that multiplier like right now it's set to 0 0.05 or 5% so per VIP rank is how much of a percentage the player will get one wherever we implement this modifier so rank 3 will get 15% rank 6 will get 30% offset modifier so like we showed earlier uh, you can d modify their armor and uh, VIP rank 6 will get 30% more 30% <coughs> modifier to their armor rating 
uh, VIP vote enabled if you want people's vote count to affect their VIP system if you want it to uh, people to be able to vote and earn VIP ranks through that you can enable this or you can disable it <coughs> so basically when they reach so many votes have voted so many times they get an instant increase in their uh, VIP rank and you can set that to whatever you want if you want them uh, to earn an extra rank in VIP for every 500 votes then you'll set that to 500 so once they reach voted 500 times they'll get uh, a free VIP increase every time they vote 500 times so once they do a thousand votes they'll get bumped up to VIP 2 1500 VIP 3 2000 VIP 4 2500 VIP 5 blah and so on and so forth I just got a I had it set to 125, 125. <coughs> when, back when I hosted servers, it was all more non-profit. Was I always do this for the learning more than more than uh, making the monies, you know? <laughs> I just really enjoy fucking around with code, making cool fucked up shit. Okay, VIP coin. This is the item that shows your VIP stats. If you have an, your own item that you want to use instead, you can change it right here. Change the ID to that specific item ID, and you'll put it in here. Otherwise, by default, it's just whatever uh, what was from the SQL folder. No, don't say it. Which was SQL updates. Oops. Which would be 63020 right there, the VIP coin. Next one, of course, is VIP stone, 63021. Next, magic gold. If you have your own currency you want to use rather than the magic gold, you can do that. <coughs> Change the item ID right here. Uh, Telepoint TP bonus. This stands for tele talent point bonus per rank so each rank you get each VIP rank you'll get extra talent point bonuses extra talent points for each VIP rank so VIP 1 will get 14 VIP 2 will get 28 and so on and so forth and you can enable or disable that feature and you can change how many talent points they get and do 10, 5, 1, whatever. Okay, last but not least, we have level bonus. What this allows, you can either enable it or disable it. Enable it. What this allows is per VIP rank again for you to get extra bonuses above and beyond the server max. Just because it's enabled, it's not going to apply until a player reaches the server max. Then it applies the uh, bonus levels. Got that all fixed last night. That was something I stumbled across. Didn't realize that I was doing all this testing on an instant 80 server. My test server was an instant 80 server. So, <clears throat> that's what happened. Uh, hey, Fallen One. How's it going? Sorry, I didn't have my chat pulled up. I just happened to look over and say, oh, wait a minute, I am <laughs> going live. <laughs> I better get that pulled out. There we go. I'm just, just getting showing how to install my VIP system real quick. So this is where you'll enable or disable the, the extra levels and so you can change how many levels we get per level per VIP rank so right now I got it set to one so once say the max level for a, so your server is level 80 well players with uh, VIP rank one once they hit level 80 will get an instant increase the next time they log in and be bumped up to level 81. 
So once they reach level 80, if they log out and log back in with with uh, and they have VIP rank, they will get an instant increase once they log back in. That's if you have the rank zero enabled. Otherwise, if it's not enabled and it's just everybody starts at VIP one, then they'll instantly get that extra added bonus. If they're VIP zero, then they won't get this extra added feature. Uh, you can tell it at 2, 3, 10, 15 levels per rank. Or, yeah, right here. <laughs> yeah. So now, person with rank, VIP rank 2, once they hit the server max level of the server, they will get an extra 15 levels per their VIP rank. So VIP 1 will get 15, VIP 2 will get 30, VIP 3 will get 45, VIP 4 will get 50, so on and so forth. 60, my bad, 60, <laughs> so on and so forth. Well, on the most part, I just left it at 1. So, once you get all that setting is sealed, save it. Okay, so let me move that out of the way here. So we've compiled our new source. We just come over here to bin, pull our new world server file, our .exe over, and copy that, paste it, start it up. And what you should see here towards the end in about 12 seconds. There we go. This is what you should see right after loaded 3,002 3, C++ scripts. Blah, blah, blah. You'll see you, it'll belch out. It'll always report all my scripts. I try to make sure that they report that they've loaded successfully. And you're at the bottom, you'll see loaded, ready to go, no errors posted, blah, 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 blah. Okay, now we want to open my World of Warcraft client. And we're going to log in. This is the banker. Currency tab, magic gold, 10. See, I got 10 MG. I've got access because I am VIP 1. I've got 125 votes. I've got 15 magic gold in my bank account. custom currency so I got a total of 25 or I can withdraw Deposit all my gold, all my magic gold right here. And then log out. Create new character.
and oops let me deposit first log out I did deposit them didn't I <laughs> Still. Five MG. Okay, let's log out. Log out. Balance twenty five. We'll withdraw ten. Oh, I see what's going on. Everything in the table's updating, but not the SQL, so I gotta do a little tweak in there too. Something not right. got a little issue in the transition somewhere and I'm thinking it's just the same way as the other one was with the boats or the uh something was an updating oh the VIP that's right had the VIP LS jack backwards but basically that's how we install the basic engine for VIP for my VIP system and the same thing applies for basically for uh, my premium system I designed. It's the same thing. Premium system, of course, is a lot different. It is an account slash character type premium system. So it can either be an account based so all characters are premium or character based so only one character is premium while the others aren't so you can pay for premium 
or donate for premium for each specific character for your whole account depending on how the admin sets it up I love making stuff adjustable for the end user so when you install one of my works you can mutate it through simple settings to work more the way you want it to work That's why I don't just throw shit out there left and right. I really want to make my stuff more globally for the end user to make it work the way they want it to work. I just come up with the different, think of the different possible aspects that somebody may want it to work and try to incorporate that. And then a lot of times people come and say, hey, I, I like this, but can we do this to make it... Do uh, accommodate for this oh yeah we can do that that's a great idea I never thought about that and we'll make it even more adjustable make it more globally adjustable for unique scenarios of setups so you notice a lot of my systems have a shit ton of different settings you can modify real easily either by the config file by your uh, world server configuration file or somewhere in the start of the script there usually be a set of settings that you can go through and like for my Luna and Luau scripts you'll notice there's a big block of what are basically settings that you can go through and adjust to your own liking of how you want it to work So that's it. That's the simple part. Easy to install. Easy to modify. Don't you just love it? <laughs> so anywho, hopefully uh, this will help you, and uh, hopefully this will help you walk through, walk you through uh, installing the system. And hopefully you'll end your, your, uh, all your uh, players will have a good time and enjoy the system. So uh, that's it. That's the how-to on installing and setting up the basic engine for my VIP system. After that, you got all sorts of little features. And I'll do next, do a... Uh, a uh, stream for doing that on incorporating this into your core I'll do a separate stream on that because that will require some time so until next time guys hey code on guys grind that code <laughs> game on man game on